evening, the Pennsylvania State Superior Court makes a decision today that could make Raymond Payne a free man. The English teacher pleading guilty to a general charge of murder in the 1975 death of 16-year-old Debbie Gamma. It's a developing story on Fox 66 News tonight. Saida Abbas spoke with Raymond Payne's brother and Debbie Gamma's mother tonight. She joins us now from the newsroom. Saida. Sean, Raymond Payne has been in jail for 42 years. Today's Superior Court ruling means that he'll be getting a new degree of guilt hearing. Modern day DNA, DNA testing played a big role. Forgiveness isn't for everybody, it's not. but it, it was definitely for me. It's been almost 44 years since Betty Ferguson's daughter, Debbie Gamma, was murdered. The 1975 death of the 16-year-old has once again come to the forefront as courts have ordered a resentencing of the admitted killer. 42 years ago, Raymond Payne pleaded guilty to a general charge of murder. Whatever the law thinks is the right way to go. I've been mad at Ray for a long time. But I decided not to be mad at him anymore. Payne was sentenced to life in prison without parole, in part because fluids found on the teenage victim were believed to be Payne's. Modern DNA tests show that wasn't the case. So the Pennsylvania Superior Court has ruled that the conviction will stand, but the sentence must be re-argued. His younger brother, Edward Payne, recollects his memories of the case. That's was disturbing to me that they just did the whole thing as a rape murder. That was what he was, you know, he was never charged with rape. Payne believes that it's been too long and that his brother Raymond is innocent of the first degree charge. A third degree murder conviction could mean freedom for Payne since that crime has a maximum sentence of 40 years and he has already served 42. Edward Payne believes his brother will get out of jail within a year. A Pittsburgh law firm is representing Payne, Sean. And